Welcome to the Skills Unity cross-platform integration video. Today, I will be going over the following topics. First, let's start off with installing the Skills Unity SDK. In the Skills Developer Console, access the Downloads page and download the Unity SDK. Next, you're going to open up the downloaded Unity SDK. And with your Unity project open, double click on the Unity package that you just downloaded. Make sure that all the files within the Unity package are chosen and click Import. You should see a Skills folder inside of your Assets folder and also a Skills menu option to generate a Skills delegate. And inside of the Skills Delegate, you'll be able to enter your game ID that was assigned to you from the Developer Portal and choose your environment, Sandbox or Production. We finished installing the Unity SDK. Now, let's go over some basic Skills functions. First, create a custom controller class which will implement the Skills Match Delegate. We will name ours the Game Controller. In this newly created Game Controller class, we will implement the Skills Match Delegate. We will also implement the on match will begin and on skills will exit callbacks. Inside of on match will begin, you'll want to load your game scene. This method takes in a skills match object. You can retrieve information about the match, including the name, the ID, skills difficulty, and also your custom game parameters. On match will begin is called when a user begins a tournament within the skills interface and should be used to handle the starting of the match for the player. On skills will exit is called when a user chooses to exit out of the skills experience. You should load your initial main menu scene here. This implementation is optional. You can launch skills by creating a button specifically for that purpose, for example, a play button here. Or you can launch skills automatically. Launch skill should accept a controller class which you created earlier. In this example, we will be using our game controller. If you've added any custom game parameters to your game on the skills developer console, you'll be able to retrieve them by using get match rules. If your game allows mid-match aborts, you can do so by calling abort match. This means that no score will be submitted and they will automatically forfeit to their opponent. To help detect potential cheating and fraudulent activities, you should update a player's current score each time the score changes. And when the game ends, you'll need to report the final score to the skill servers. This is done by calling Report Final Score. This will launch the skills UI and present the results to the player. Next up is the skills random number generation methods. If your gameplay uses random numbers, you should use the skills random number generator methods instead. This will be to ensure a fair gameplay experience for your players. For example, if your game creates a random map for each match, using skills random will present the exact same random map to both players in the match. In this example project, I will be replacing the system.random and .next methods with the skills random class range methods. So that covers the most basic required integration steps. Now I'll go over how to create and integrate a custom theme. Skills allows you to customize the look of your SDK by configuring the colors and images that display to your players. When you are ready to test your theme, click Save to Sandbox. Now your theme will be live in our Sandbox servers. Now we'll want to integrate the custom theme into our project. Click on the email icon below to receive download links of your custom SDK. From the email, you'll need to download the iOS and Android SDKs separately. Now I'll be going over how to export to Xcode. To build your Unity game on iOS, make sure the target minimum iOS version is set to 9 or higher in the iOS player settings. Once you click Build, you should be prompted to locate where you saved the skills.framework file. You can choose the skills.framework file that you just downloaded in your custom SDK. Skills requires certain linker flags to be set in your Xcode project. Please refer to our documentation for a list of these required linker flags. Make sure that code sign-on copy is checked for skills.framework in build phases. 
Skills currently does not support switching orientations between portrait and landscape. Because of this, you will need to modify the return value of supported interface orientations for window method inside of Unity App Controller. To export your project to Android Studio, you will need to change the permissions of the Unity Gradle folder. Next, go to your Unity build settings and make sure Android build system is set to Gradle. Also, export project should be checked off and click export. To integrate your custom theme into your Android project, just drag the custom theme.json that you downloaded into the assets folder of your Android project. And that's it. And here is the final result after integrating our custom themed SDK. Thanks for watching this video. To sum it all up, we've discussed how to download and install the Skills Unity SDK and the proper implementation of the basic skills function calls. We also discussed how crucial proper usage of skills random number generation is to ensure a fair and consistent gameplay experience for your players. Creating a custom themed SDK was also shown, as well as exporting to Xcode and Android Studio. For more information and documentation of the skills SDK integration process, please check out our developer console at developers.skills.com.